Hey guys, Florida Sports Fan 18 here. I'm back for a video, and this will be the last one for wrapping up the draft week since all three days happened. It better had to be appropriate for you because I was getting my Tua shirt on, jersey on, as I do this draft recap. So let's get started for the draft recap. Like I said, this will this is gonna be all the names that they selected, and I'm gonna put it in the video description below too all the names and the picks and the round they were in. So let's get started for, and this is going to be all the draft recap. So let me go on, let me get it all ready right now. Hold on. One, hold on one second and let me get in and then we'll get through the, the draft recap. Hold on one second guys. Okay, there we go. I got it. So, at the first one we went with, we got, uh, for the first pick, uh, in the sixth round, we took Jalen Waldo, wide receiver from Alabama. Like I said, I do like this pick. I think it's a pretty good pick. And, of course, we get two of a weapon, a weapon he's familiar with. So, I like this pick a lot. Jalen Waddle is a pretty good addition to the team. The team, and I'm excited to see what, I'm excited to see, openly. Hopefully this will work out. I know he's got injury problems like Tua, but hoping this will work out. Gonna be positive it will. Cause like I said, Alabama wide receivers, Alabama wide receivers and Clemson wide receivers and LSD wide receivers do good in the NFL. So I feel confident that this will work out. Next one in the first round and the 18 pick, we take a defensive end from Miami, Jalen Phillips. I know a lot of people said this was probably the best one, I think. I think they said out of everyone, I think this is the best one. Because he's got, he was pretty good. He had a good season in Miami last season. He comes in here being a leader in here, helping out the defense. Put him in there now with Aqua and uh, Christian Wilkins, man. So I do like this pick. So I think I like this pick a little better than... I think if between the first round, between those two, I think I like this one a little better than Waddle. But I'm just happy we got wide receiver, like I said. And I'm happy we got a defensive end, too, So to add on there. So, nice addition. Happy and he's going to think good. He's got experience in Miami. So, at least he will get, he knows how to play in the high heat. And he, because it's going to be hot when he plays. So, he's got experience in that. He's going to be playing in the same stadium and playing college for. So, that's something nice to see coming up. All right, now we go into the second round. And... I'm not too ha big on it, really, or not too happy about it, really, because because it's somebody from Oregon, and you never hear, like, Oregon players, except for me, yeah, except for Justin Herbert, man, don't do pretty well in the NFL. It was uh, Javon Holland, a safety. I do think we needed a safety, but I would predict it maybe a, one, a little preferred more hay than this one, but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. I picked 36, like I said, Javon, Javon, ah, Javon Holland. All right, let's go to the next one. This was with the trade we had that we did with the Giants that we got, we traded. We gave him the 22 third round pick and a 50 overall, and we got the 40th overall. And this one I do like in the second round. This one I think this was a very good pickup. I'm not sure. I don't know how to rank out the best one or one of the best one. I think I gotta say the reason the offensive line Liam Eichenberg. I think in my opinion Eichenberg and Jalen Phillips were the two best ones we picked. But I like this. And and I heard too he's not giving up his sacks in the last two seasons. That's what we need for our offensive line and I like that. It's gonna give some big help for two and I like I like what Chris Grew and Brian Flores are doing, making sure Tua gets all that protection he need he gets so he doesn't get injured. But I like this pick at the 42nd all. Man, I love this. I don't know what to say. I just really love this pick. And he's from uh, North, out of North T. I can't say it. If you guys know, if you can pronounce it right, just write it in the comments below. All right. 
Now we go to the third round pick, and this was another one. I don't know what to say. Like, really, I don't know. This was another good pick. I love this one, too. That we took Hunter Long out of Boston College, tight end. I love this one, really, and it gave two another weapon. I do like this one, really do. Coming in there, going to be in there. He's probably going to be number three tight end, but pretty soon he'll probably be our number two tight end. But like that gives two another weapon out there, so... I really do like this pick. Definitely the second best tight end out there. Probably in my opinion. Then, uh, then probably the second one since we missed out on Kyle Pitts. But like this one a lot on our long. At round three. And that's really... And by the way too. Receivers and tight end actually when we get them in the second or third round. Do work out pretty good for us. And I forgot to say too for the Jalen Phillips one too. All the, and the Miami Hurricanes player that come to Miami Dolphin. That come here to the team. Usually work out for us too. So... I like this a lot. Because tight end for a while was our problem that we didn't have any good tight ends, and finally we're getting, we're building off on this in the draft. So we were supposed to pick in the fifth round, but we did a trade with the Steelers, and then we got the 2022 fourth round pick for next year. There, And I've been hearing, I think somebody wrote in the comment on my last video and the day three recap saying that good chance they could talk offense or center offense line, which I wouldn't mind that. I like that what they're doing. I just want to get protection for two. I help this guy out. Make sure my guy right here, oh, my guy right here, oh, doesn't get hurt. I want this guy to be healthy. All right. Since then, we didn't pick again to the seventh round, and the seven, and with the seventh pick, we uh, the two hundred thirty-one. We take another offensive line. We took Lenar Coleman. Coleman out of mass. Seven round picks I won't probably know know pretty well because the names really too well, but I don't have to say we gotta see him play. I don't know who he really is. So alright, last one with the two hundred forty four round seven. We take a running back named Jared Docks. And that was for the final pick of the draft for the Dolphins. Happy to take a running back. We'll see. Even though we didn't take one earlier. You know, I did want to the G. Harris or Travis Etienne oh, on the 18th, but I think it was smart enough to get defense because a lot of people say, well, a lot of my friends will say, defense wins championships. So, nice to get a running back in the last round. So, so that's going to do it with all the picks before I get out of here, before I wrap everything up. I just want to say, during this draft week, doing all these videos was pretty fun. I really did enjoy it. Uh, I do need to give some shout outs here because I did it in the past. Definitely got to give a shout out to uh, King Kyle and Jaquan New NYC. Is he? Definitely go see King Kyle on YouTube too. Go subscribe to his channel. And I appreciate those two guys definitely, definitely doing the videos, doing that mock draft video with me. It took a lot of effort. It took a while. We've been planning on this for a while to do this, and finally we had the right chance to do it, man. And finally, and it was pretty hard too. So we had to go. To, we went to like an empty parking lot to do it. So, parking lot to do it. But I'm happy we were able to do it, and I appreciate you guys. I want to thank him again. Thank you, King Kyle and Jaquan New YC for doing this with me. That was it. Was pretty fun doing the mock draft, and too, and also too. When I said tight end, I'm not sure if anyone saw this too. In the, one of the videos when he got crazy about when I said Tyson Campbell, it's because Tyson Campbell, because he knows Tyson Campbell, Tyson, and I said the New Orleans Saints, that's why he went crazy, but instead he got picked by the Jacksonville Jaguars in the second round, the first one to get taken off the board. And I just want to say too, man, to King Kyle, I hope your friend, just say good luck to your friend in Jacksonville. Hope he does pretty good there. And let's see when I want to give another shout out to. And another shout out to. I want to give another shout out to Net Nobody too, for uh, commenting in the videos in there. I had fun with the draft too. Looking, I know you're happy about Mac Jones. Looking forward to the two and Mac Jones matchup in the future coming up. So, those are shout outs I just want to give to those people too. When I was doing these uh, drafts, all the draft stuff this week. Because, yeah, this will be, this is wrapping up. This will be the final video for the, uh, not the final video, but the last video for the draft recap till, till next year. 
But that's all it I want to say. I hope you guys all like the Dolphins pick. I, I, I pick. I hope you guys like the Dolphins pick too, and I happy to talk about it all with you guys. If you liked, if you liked all the stuff I did this week, and you liked all the videos and all like all the recap stuff, stuff, and I will do probably next video probably will be uh when I when the schedule comes out and I'll review the schedule. But if you like what if you liked it all what I did, make sure you hit a like for this video, and give me some subscribers right and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This is for the Sportsman 18 here. Had so much fun doing this. I'll see you guys next week for the uh for the schedule re for the schedule review review and if anything pops up or anything on the dolphins going on I'll do I'll post it on there but probably not no video till next week so for sports for an 18 here I'm gone see you guys you guys have a good night